Hello, I'm Ashutosh. Uh, today in this video, we are going to see something about flow designers and incident. So I got one use case where people wanted to send reminder notifications to the caller of the incident when the incident state is on hold and the on hold reason is awaiting caller. So out of the box, there is one initial notification like when you put the incident on this particular state and when you add additional comments you get a commented incident commented notification right now people are are doing multiple follow-ups with the caller manually uh, where they are asking few questions again to the caller the same questions to the caller and the caller is not responding so what happens is the queue that the list of the incidents in a particular queue grows and then um, the follow up every day becomes tedious task. So people uh, were asking or, or they were suggesting that why can we do it in more automated way? Can we trigger the notifications in more automated way? And if that does not respond, then can we resolve the incident? Yeah, the answer is yes, we can. In most of the organizations, there is a uh, agreement right or, or there is a process where people say okay we will do the follow-up with the caller multiple times like for example three times or four times if he does not respond within four times uh, or five times of uh, follow-up then we will automatically resolve the incident and and obviously there is a time frame also like we will do the first follow-up within two days then the next follow-up after two days and then maybe after five or eight days we will close the incident so to achieve this, I created a simple flow in the flow designer where it sends a notification to the caller. And then if it does not respond within after two reminders, the incident is automatically closed. So let's go to that flow and see how I did it. So you can see the condition is obviously we want to start this particular flow whenever the incident is in state as on hold and the on hold reason is awaiting caller. Now the run trigger condition is interesting. Here I have selected for every update. Uh, what does it mean? That whenever there is an update and if this condition matches, then you need to trigger the flow, okay? Here you can see there are other options like for each unique change once and whatever you want, right? Out of this four. If you select once, then this process will be only followed once. And if the incident go back to in progress and again come back to on hold awaiting caller, then there will be no new or the fresh flow attached. I wanted that. I wanted that every time this condition is met, I want a new flow and the existing flow should be canceled to send the reminder notifications to this particular caller. And that's the reason I created this. After the condition is met, the flow is attached. What happens? The first Step is cancel existing flows or the previous flows which are attached to that incident. I am only talking about canceling the same flow if it is already attached. As I told you, there can be a scenario where the incident can uh, flip between in progress state, can again go back to on hold awaiting caller, uh, caller can respond again, it can go to uh, in progress state. And if I don't cancel, then what will happen is, let's say the first email reminder notification is sent and it is waiting somewhere here. If it is waiting here and the incident goes back to in progress and come back to on hold again, then here we will check the condition that, okay, it is in on hold. Yes, it is in on hold. And then it will send a final reminder, but we don't want that because caller has already responded. And that's the reason I have, that can, I have this particular custom action which I created to cancel the existing or the previous flows if there is any. So this cancel flow action is this. So I created two inputs like task sys ID, table name. Then I created a script to cancel the flow. And the output is simple fail or success. So the second step in this flow is we will wait for one minute uh, before sending a initial reminder notification just to allow the user to respond to the out of the box awaiting caller reminder uh, awaiting caller uh, notification whenever the incident is committed he get out of the box uh, notification so here the date can be 
like two days if you want two business days yeah you can if you want 24 by 7 two days you can there are many options here but for testing right now we are going to use one minute okay then we will send the first email reminder notification if it is still on hold then after sending the initial reminder notification we are going to wait for another one minute yeah another one minute to allow people to or, or the allow caller to respond to that particular first reminder notification if it does not respond we are going to go and then again check if it is still on hold if yes then go to the second reminder notification trigger the second reminder notification and then again wait for 30 seconds so why we are waiting again here for the 30 seconds is just to allow people to respond to that final reminder notification or allow caller to you know say something about that incident so that it will be again back to in progress state if he does not respond within this particular time frame then we are going to resolve the incident automatically so what i am going to do is i am going to activate this flow now once i activate this i am going to show you how it works so let me select a caller and okay this is processing yeah it is saved so let's say this is the one i'm going to create this in new state or maybe in progress directly and save um and we are going to see context of the flows so previously i tested few things so they are here uh, but right now you can see there is nothing in progress or in waiting state so what i'm going to do is now i'm going to put this particular incident on hold and awaiting caller and then i'm going to comment something let's say testing flow designer yeah once i save this what will happen is there will be a flow attached to it let's wait come on yeah so you can see there is a flow attached to it and i'm going to open this in uh, operator workspace So here you can see it is waiting for one minute and after waiting for one minute it is again going to validate the state the condition basically and then it will send initial reminder notification i will also show you the email which he got you can see this is out of the box email whenever the incident is commented the initial notification out of the box notification was this so we need to wait for one minute to see what happens with the next steps and meanwhile what i will do is i will put this incident uh, let's wait for this notification first notification because then i want to show you how this cancel flow custom action works right now still it is in yeah so now you can see it is waiting here now quickly i'm going to put it into in progress save and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to again put this back into on hold awaiting caller test and save as soon as i do this what will happen is it will cancel the existing context of the flow attached to that incident and it will create a new uh, new context so you can see this is cancelled and the new one is attached right and just to confirm i will show you here also so it was cancelled right close this i'm going to open the new one which is which is attached then i'm going to show you the same thing and then now we are going to see how it resolves the incident after sending the notifications meanwhile we'll go 
and do show matching here you can see the first reminder was sent because of the first flow context which we cancelled recently so again Abel will get a first reminder notification then again we will wait for one minute and then finally the final reminder notification and resolve the incident the advantage of doing this is you don't have to uh, you don't have to worry about sending or doing the manual follow-ups everything will be done automatically and then you can fetch a report uh, or, or you can create a dashboard where this flow was attached to which incident and uh, you can see how many incidents were automatically resolved now there was there is one point that you know most of the vendors get paid from their clients based upon the kpis for the incident based upon the sls to the incident um, if the incident are not resolved are not closed and still they are on hold then that incident may not be considered when they get paid um, this is just a, a benefit or, or just one point which i wanted to mention let's go ahead and see if it is waiting yeah now it is waiting for another one minute here and then i will show you see this is the initial reminder now sent and then the body i created a static body and it is like this here i am saying three reminder notifications but it will be for testing it's now only two and you can obviously create a good uh, email body as you want and let's go here you can see it is still on hold it will automatically go to resolve state after one minute uh, let's go back to this yeah now it is waiting for next 30 seconds before the incident gets resolved and i'm going to show you the final reminder notification which was triggered and this is the second reminder and it is the final reminder if you don't respond within this the incident is going to get resolved so let's go back to the flow designer now you can see it is completed and i am going back to the incident you can see it is automatically resolved and there is a comment auto resolved due to no response from the caller so this was a, a use case at high level do two reminders three reminders or four reminders as per your company policies if it does not respond or the caller does not respond just resolve the incident right um, if you have any suggestions if you have any comments please put them into comment section and i will try to implement uh, your suggestions if you also have new use cases please provide those and i will try to implement those as well last but not the least this video will be available on this youtube channel so keep following keep subscribing and goodbye for now thank you so much